In this video, we will understand what is Databricks in a very simple language. Databricks is a cloud platform built around Apache Spark that lets you store, process and analyze data at scale. You first need to understand what is Apache Spark for which I have this separate video. So please go watch it out if you don't know what is Apache Spark. Now that you have understanding of Apache Spark, let's dive into the details of Databricks. If you want to run Apache Spark, there are two ways of doing it. First option is self-hosting. Self-hosting means you go to Apache Spark website and then if you click on download, you can download this uh, Spark software. So it's a zip file which will contain the code for Spark, okay? The Spark code it will contain. You can also install it with Docker. So they have this official images, Docker images. And when you get these images, or let's say when you get this uh, zip file, you have to install it on cloud. So let's say you are using whatever cloud or let's say if you're using on your local computer, you have to install this software and then when it comes to cluster management, you have to do everything on your own, right? Like how many nodes this Spark cluster will have, when the node goes up, down, all that configuration, you have to do it. It is short of like you are planning your wedding event and you're talking to caterer, photographer, decorators individually. You are even going out and buying the stuff for decoration. You are doing all the management on your own. In Spark terms, this means that you are provisioning physical and VM nodes, virtual machine nodes. You are installing and configuring Spark on your own. Then you're setting up a cluster manager. You're monitoring logs, resource utilizations. You're scaling up and down nodes manually. So let's say when you need more machine, you have to add those machine manually. Or when you need less machine, you have to remove the machines manually. The popular option instead of self-hosting is managed service, which is short of like hiring an event planner. So you talk to just one person. An event planner will take care of catering, photography, everything. She will take care of it, okay? So that's your managed service. And Databricks is basically a managed service. So this is the website of uh, Databricks. Databricks uses Spark underneath, but it is a managed service. So all the Spark cluster management will be done by this Databricks. And this is the interface you will see for Databricks here. When you click on new, you can create new notebook, query, etc. See, there is a SQL query editor as well. So if you have some databases here, you can run SQL query. Now, all of this is being run in the cloud. So you get all these different options. See, you, you get data engineering, job runs, data ingestion. You can connect with different connectors, you know, Salesforce, SQL Server, etc. You also get some AI ML option, okay? So this is Databricks UI, and we are running it on Databricks website. So the benefit of managed service is that it takes away cluster lifecycle management burden. For you, it will be short of like, you know, in AWS, you have used Lambda. So it's like serverless service where uh, you pay per your usage. So getting new uh, nodes or new machine or new compute power as you need them, then scaling it down, all of that is done automatically. You just say, give me a cluster of X workers, or even if you don't want to say X workers, you can even let it auto scale and you are only focusing on business logic, infra is invisible to you. So infrastructure is managed by Databricks, okay? So this person event planner here is nothing but Databricks, okay? That will do all the management. And underneath there is Spark, okay? So Spark is running underneath. Spark is like a backbone but the cluster management is done by the Databricks. So just to compare self-hosting versus managed service, see nowadays in, in the industry, people use managed service mostly. There are a few companies who will do self-hosting for a variety of reasons, but most of the time you will see people use the managed service. Databricks is very popular and there is an obvious reason because it was founded by the founders of Spark itself. Remember, we, we talked about this person, then he's the CEO of Databricks, Ali Gordsi. So these guys are researchers at UC Berkeley. They are academians, but they found Databricks. So they initially found Spark, Apache Spark project, which is open source. And later on, they 
uh, created Databricks, which is a managed service for Spark. And Databricks become very, very popular. There are so many companies, they are using Databricks. And some of these guys are already billionaires, right? Like he's the original founder, he's a billionaire, Ali Gorsi. There are at least three of them who are billionaires and they, they are known as Berkeley Mafias because they all are academicians working at Berkeley. And they found this amazing product, Databricks, which is very, very popular in data engineering world. Now, you can run Databricks either on their website like databricks.com or you can run Databricks on any of the cloud providers. For example, on Azure, you can run Databricks on Azure too. Now you'll be like, okay, what's the benefit? Why can't I use Databricks directly? What's the benefit of running Databricks on Azure? Well, there are benefits. See, on Azure, you get rest of the Azure ecosystem. You get Power BI, Events Hub, ADLS, Azure Synapse Analytics, and there is a nice integration. So if you want to access ADLS, you have direct access, right? You are in one tight ecosystem. So that is the main reason that people mostly, if you look at any industrial project, they don't use mostly the Databricks website. They will be using Azure Databricks or any other cloud provider. So they still use Databricks, but on any other cloud providers. So the benefits are that Databricks website, it's good for learning, demo and experimentation. Azure Databricks is more for industry projects, okay? It provides enterprise grade security. Security is another concern, right? You get all the features of Azure by default your security, your compliance, governance, the support, let's say if something is down, you can talk to Azure customer support, scalability integration. So there are humongous benefits that you get when you use Azure Databricks instead of plain Databricks. But the, the UI, right, the front end that you're seeing here, it will be same if you are using directly Databricks or Azure Databricks.